welcome back to a bit gamey um, and have a quick review while I was getting the other stuff I saw these Caesar miniature plastic German World War 2 and uh, I just got them just to see what they were like and I was quite impressed because um, thinking back to you know the old airfix figures from the past you know they weren't very good the figures uh, weren't very um, detailed, I think. I mean, they're great fun at the time, but yeah, you know, so they weren't particularly detailed. And uh, and I've you know, there's a, a site called Plastic Soldier Review. I don't even know. I can't. <laughs> it's possible to see these down this scale, but whatever. There's a site called Plastic Soldier Review, and it's it's got a review of all these um, the cheap plastic boxes for um, you know, various periods and such. And the uh, and the, the figures in you know on the on the view site. I mean they're they're okay, but it's like um, you know, a lot of them aren't, aren't that good quality, it seems to me. And um, the other thing is uh, that they don't necessarily have the in the box they don't necessarily have the right variety of stuff. But um, but yeah, I was impressed with these. So I've got, I've got the box just on the, just on the off chance, or there's two boxes in fact, uh, just slightly different. Uh, I got them just on the off chance, and uh, yeah, they're quite good, I think. So I don't know if it's it's the same um, with all all kinds. I don't know if that's focusing because um, the um, whether it's you know, there's there's good ones in all, you know, there's good British ones and good German ones or whatever. Well, so these particular ones, these are Caesar miniatures. Um, there's actually a. Uh, what's the name of them? World War Two German Army Combat Team One and Combat Team Two. So. I don't know. But anyway, I think they're quite good. The um, I mean the ones I got before. The ones that I've, the ones I've got and painted up were um, metal, and they were fine. I mean, you know, there's nothing, no particular reason to um, get these, but I just thought they were quite good. Cause the thing is, the uh, um, you know, I mean, World War Two at this at this scale can actually be quite cheap. You know, if you're on a budget or um, you're a youngster just starting out, uh, this is uh, not a bad option. Anything more to say? Oh, and the other thing is, um, on, on games like Rapid Fire, you know, the uh, you don't need to have an exact sort of uh, figures like in in um, in platoon scale games, which is one to one. You know, you want your NCO and your rifleman and your uh, light machine gun team and such. Um, whereas in a uh, game like uh, Rapid Fire, you just need eight figures. So it's uh, these these cheap plastic ones are a good way to um, do Rapid Fire, I think, or Rapid Fire type games and. Uh, and maybe use the slightly uh, fancier metal ones for your platoon scale platoon scale games. Anyway, yeah. So I, I wouldn't recommend the um, these plastic figures generally because they're um, they vary a lot between different makes and different boxes, and 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 within the same make because Caesar does lots of different boxes. And I don't know if they're all good, but these ones. World War Two German Army Combat Team One and Two, and they're, they're missing various things you want, like light machine guns and you know, uh, two inch mortars and all that kind of stuff. But I say, I say for um, rapid fire type games, I think they're pretty good, cheap, cheap and cheerful, nice figures, bosh bosh. <laughs>